We're going to this place called Cutler Cove that Kenzie found online. looking at things to do in Kanab, Utah, I read a blog post about this girl that went to what's called the Great Chamber or Cutler Cove. And she, like, so then I was like, oh, that looks so cool. So I looked up on Google about it. I couldn't find nothing besides a Reddit post saying that it's like secret and they don't want a lot of people going there. And the road is really like dangerous if you just have like a normal car. So you need a four by four to get there. And um, so they said they recommend taking a tour to get there. And since the place has two different names, I was looking it up farther and I finally found on all trails, Cutler Cove is what I found on all trails. And luckily there was only one girl that showed the route she took to drive up to it. So we are following that route. The sand's getting just a little bit like deeper. Um, we are so lucky that we have such an awesome truck. We found some locals and uh, we asked them if they know where we're going and they said, yeah, we've been there before. So they leaded us in the right direction. So we think we're going the right way. Um, I wonder if that's it over there. It's not like there's no sign or anything. So we're hoping we're going the right way. A bubble. A bubble. So we ended up taking one wrong turn. We got a little bit of service, so we went on satellite on Google Maps. And now we had to turn around and go the correct way. If we're not mistaken, we think that right there is where we're headed. But we may be mistaken. Thank goodness for four by four, I tell you. gates we had to open and close on our way here. This is such an adventure. It's really fun. Who's that handsome? Who's that handsome? <laughs> that is it. We were correct. So we are almost there. So we're about to hike the Cutler Cove hike. And first what we're gonna do is have Cohen do sprints up and down this sand hill because he has so much pent up energy. He's just really hard to walk or hike when he's like this. You see, he's all anxious and stuff. So we're gonna do that a couple times. Then that way, hopefully he'll be more tired and easier to deal with on a hard hike like this. Come on. Oh, good boy. Come on, Tacoma. Come on, come on. Slow down. Hey. Good boy. Sit. Like right here. Heave, Coma, heave. Eyes are burning. Oh, dude, it's so, it's so sandy. This is 
We just finished the hike and going up to the cove. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, I really am so thankful that I researched this more and not took the tour for $135. So um, I would say that it's not worth taking a tour for, especially if you have your own four wheel drive car or vehicle. Um, definitely need a 4x4 four four and something with a little bit high clearance like maybe foot or two foot off the ground yeah and um, but it was really awesome and I'm so glad we didn't pay for the tour